Hello my friends, another day today and I'm continuing to work on the riveting of my tail con. Well, as many previous videos, nothing new for today, it's just basically going to be a riveting. I'm going to need the help of my wife, first of all, to complete the riveting of the bottom skin, because I just cannot reach with my hands there. And in addition, most likely I will need her help for some riveting in the very, very back of the tail con. I think so, maybe not. Uh, besides, aside of that, I'm just going to be working on, on the riveting, lots of rivets to put. Don't expect something new uh, other than rivets for today. Uh, I think it's gonna be in the next video. <laughs> I want to finish riveting first of the like that's routine riveting of the skins. Yeah, let's work slowly but surely, uh, checking on each rivet and making sure that each rivet is set properly. So let's go. Well, so far so good. My wife helped me a lot and uh, well, she liked actually this bucking bar and mainly this bucking bar she liked at most. I mean, I would go with this one, with Samsung one, but she said this is more convenient for her to work with, which I'm happy about. So we have completed the bottom skin and now I'm working with the side skins. So mainly this bucking bar for my wife and uh, this bucking bar for me to work now on the sides. And sometimes for a couple of rivets I was using this bucking bar and this side just to, to get rich in there. Well, so far so good. Things moving forward. My kids nearby, my wife nearby, we're working together and stay tuned. We continue to work. Ron rivet, I mean the Ron part has been riveted and there is a process how to actually extract the rivets. Well, it's kind of simple, so if you just take a look, it's kind of a quick and easy process and uh, you can see. What I do is basically I'm planning to simply drill, drill out two rivets, so just put our drill and drill bit here, we go slow. 
one and two. That's it. Well, kind of clean. Done. It's part removed, so now I can uh, rivet back the part using the correct rivets. So I continue to work on the uh, tail cone and basically now I'm riveting the, uh, this part, like the back part, to the tail cone. Uh, mainly here I work with a squeezer, sometimes I use the rivet gun, again depends how I can access to the uh, back side, to the shop side of the rivet. Well, so far so good, not that bad I would say, it goes slowly but surely and uh, mo the more rivets I put, the better experience I get, with the same time I still realize more rivets I have still to put. Alright, one more rivet here. Now let's check the shop side. Shop side is okay. We good? We good to continue.
My friends, this is uh, the end of this part of my video related to the assembly of my uh, RV-10 airplane. As you can see, lots of work were made and I did some good progress on my tail cone assembly. So I would say about 75 to 80% of work is completed. I still have to rivet this skin. It's lying now on the side. So next working day, I will continue to rivet my skins. And I guess I will need the help of my wife to, um, yeah, probably, because it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to rivet everything alone. Aside of that, the front 
pin is not riveted actually because it will be riveted only together with the uh, when I will be working on the fuselage so for now it will be just on clicos I still have some parts to install that's later and um, I got my wings kit so I have something to do after tail cone actually after tail cone I will be uh, assembling doing some assembly of the horizontal vertical steps like I will do the assembly I will see how it looks like most likely after that I will disassemble it and just attach somewhere in my hangar while I will start to work towards my wings thank you for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel and um, I see you in my next video which will also be related to the finishing of my uh, tail cone build thank you and bye